Are we on the brink of discovering a new home for life beyond Earth? Join us as we journey to the enigmatic exoplanet GJ 1667 CC and unravel the mysteries of its atmosphere. Welcome to a cosmic adventure where the quest for habitable worlds meets the wonders of the universe. Located approximately 23 light years away from Earth in the constellation of Scorpius, Gliese 667 is a triple star system that has captured the attention of astronomers worldwide. Its primary star, Gliese 667 a, is a K-type main sequence star accompanied by two smaller companions, Gliese 667 b and Gliese 667 c, both of which are orange-red dwarfs. These stars dance in a delicate gravitational ballet, forming the backdrop for a diverse array of orbiting planets. But what makes Gliese 667 truly remarkable is its rich planetary system, brimming with potentially habitable worlds. Among them, Gliese 667 CC stands out as a beacon of hope for extraterrestrial life enthusiasts. According to the scientist, Gliese 1667 C contains a habitable zone. The habitable zone, often referred to as the Goldilocks zone, is the region around a star where conditions are just right for liquid water to exist on the surface of a planet. It's a key factor in determining the potential habitability of exoplanets. The habitable zone depends on various factors including the luminosity of the star and the planet's distance from it. Gliese 667 CC, positioned within the habitable zone of its parent star, presents conditions that could support liquid water, a crucial ingredient for life as we know it. With a mass approximately 3.8 times that of Earth, and a radius 1.8 times larger, Gliese 667 CC offers a tantalizing glimpse into the possibility of habitability beyond our solar system. Gliese 667 CC is likely tidally locked to its host star, meaning one side is perpetually bathed in sunlight, while the other side experiences eternal darkness. The extreme temperature differences between the two sides create unique challenges for any potential inhabitants. On the sunlit side, temperatures could soar to extreme levels, while the dark side plunges into freezing cold. However, if the planet possesses an Earth-like atmosphere, it could help distribute heat more evenly, resulting in a more moderate climate across the entire surface. Nestled within the Gliese 667 triple star system, the Gliese 667 c may be diminutive in size compared to its stellar siblings, but don't let its small stature fool you. This red dwarf packs a punch, unleashing ferocious bursts of energy into the depths of space. At the heart of Gliese 667 C's explosive nature are its intense solar flares, eruptions of magnetic energy that unleash torrents of radiation and charge particles into the surrounding cosmos. These flares can be so powerful that they outshine the entire star for brief moments, sending shockwaves rippling through the neighboring planets and shaping the very fabric of their atmospheres. Imagine standing on one of these distant worlds, witnessing the sky ablaze with the fiery glow of a solar flare while feeling the surge of charged particles dancing around you. But while these cosmic fireworks may be spectacular to behold, they also pose significant challenges for any potential inhabitants of nearby exoplanets. The intense radiation from Gliese 667 C's flares could strip away atmospheres and bombard surfaces with harmful radiation. Despite the challenges they present, these solar flares provide astronomers with invaluable insights into the dynamic nature of red dwarf stars and the conditions that govern the habitability of planets within their orbit. Through careful observation and analysis, scientists are working tirelessly to unlock the secrets of Gliese 667 C's flares, shedding light on the broader mechanisms that drive stellar activity across the cosmos. The planetary system of Gliese 667 C may contain up to six exoplanets, with three or even four of them being potentially habitable super-Earths. Originally, scientists believed there were only three exoplanets orbiting Gliese 6 and 67 c However, after reviewing previous data and conducting new observations, they came to this conclusion. But what exactly is super-Earth? A planet that is bigger than Earth, but not quite as big as gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn, is referred to as super-Earth. It may consist of rock, or a combination of ice and rock, and it might have an atmosphere capable of harboring various kinds of life. According to the scientists, three planets are super-Earth at GJ 1667 c. First is GJ 667 cc. This is perhaps the most famous super-Earth in the system. It orbits within the habitable zone of the red dwarf star GJ 667 c, making it a prime candidate for potential habitability. 
GJ6867CC has a mass approximately 4.5 times that of Earth and is located around 23.6 light years away from Earth. Second is GJ667CE, which orbits closer to its host star, GJ667C, than GJ667CC. Its proximity to the star might make it less likely to be habitable due to higher temperatures. Lastly, GJ667 Cub. This is a larger super-Earth, with a mass estimated to be around 5.9 times that of Earth. It orbits GJ667C at a distance where temperatures would likely be too high for liquid water to exist on its surface. These super-Earths have garnered significant attention from astronomers and astrobiologists due to their potential for habitability. To understand whether GJ667CC could support life, we must consider several key factors. Firstly, atmosphere. The composition and density of GJ6N16CC's atmosphere are critical. An atmosphere capable of trapping heat could regulate surface temperatures, creating conditions suitable for liquid water, a prerequisite for life as we know it. The second factor is surface conditions. The surface conditions of GJ1667CC, including temperature, pressure and geological activity, are vital. Extreme temperatures or pressure variations could make life challenging or even impossible. The third factor is stellar radiation. As a red dwarf star, GJ667C emits less heat and light compared to stars like the Sun. However, it is also prone to intense stellar activity, including flares that could strip away atmospheres and expose the planet to harmful radiation. The last significant factor is tidal locking. Being in close orbit around GJ667C, GJ667CC may be tidally locked, with one side always facing the star. This could lead to extreme temperature differences between the day and night sides, potentially impacting habitability. While GJ1667CC shows promise as a potentially habitable world, there are significant challenges to overcome. Understanding these factors is crucial for assessing the planet's suitability for life. Scientists are actively studying GJ1667CC using telescopes and space missions aiming to unlock the mysteries of its atmosphere, surface conditions and overall habitability. Stay tuned to this channel for the latest updates on cosmic discoveries and don't forget to click the super thank you button if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the Gliese 1667 system. Until next time, keep looking up at the stars.